Hey everybody, it's Basket Case Mama, Fab Finds. This is Debbie, and I'm at the Little Goodwill. First time here, um, but I had some appointments over this way, so I thought I'd stop and check it out. So we'll see if we can film inside and show you, see if we can find anything. Talk to you soon. As you can tell from the lead-in probably um it was a little stressful this week so this is like therapy for me and i am in the glassware department and drawn to the purple but it's just like a regular telephone piece but it was pretty um it's flash painted nothing exciting but i was trying to get better. I didn't actually even try to talk during this. There were a lot of people and I just figured I would voice over later, but I did pick this up and I look at it and I'm like, oh, it's just some department store. And I put it back and think, wait, Hager? It's Hager. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's going in the cart. So, <laughs> yay. And as you can see, I have a little crystal um, and silver thing in there and there was a lot of really kind of cool stuff here this was kind of big though it's a milk glass it was only four dollars um and it wasn't like the really nice milk glass where you can see through so um this was really pretty salt glaze with the blue flowers it was $4.99 um I did try to see but it's not signed or stamped and it was a little lightweight so I think it might have been a little more modern but I did turn it upside down and try to do the one-handed let me see under the sticker thing. Someone had done it before me, but there's nothing there. So I left that one there too. And then this was really pretty. Um, it's had olives. It was this blue glaze. It did have some numbers on the bottom, but it was, oh, again, it was kind of lightweight. And I did debate about it because, again, they went at $8. And I have a lot of big things right now. This is a really pretty ginger jar. Um, it's very different from the ones I had. Um, I couldn't see underneath because of the way they had it taped, um, but I did like it, um, and I have about four ginger jars right now, um, that I, I think I need to list, and then I have another one like this, this is, um, but this one was made in China, do not use for food, um, mine's like a, um, New England pottery piece, it is modern, but it's beautiful, so this is really pretty, it's a little hobnail, but it's made, it's made in China, um, but I was checking out the little sticker, and it was terrible glare, so it was hard to see. Um, but um, it had these pretty little flowers on it, and they didn't look like they were broken, which is just always a miraculous thing to me when I'm in the Goodwill, and I can find things that are like this that aren't broken. But I did end up putting it back. I debated about it. I have just, like, so many little pieces that, you know... These were red, and they were pretty. They did have barcodes on the bottom, so they weren't old. But I was trying to see, like, who made them and what they were, because they were actually really kind of pretty, and they did have a little teeny bit of weight to them. But um, I decided to leave it. Um, and this was um, made in China, but it was just really a pretty piece, so I was, you know, trying to... And they had these pretty little things, also not old. Um, not signed, very lightweight, um, but they had two of those. So like I said, there was a lot. There were just like all these little pretty things. It was crazy. Um, I've never been in this Goodwill before, so I was a little overwhelmed by how many kind of nice cute things they have on the shelves. I'm so used to like coming in. That's for putting a candle under it and another little ginger jar, um, but it's missing its lid. But I did like the butterfly. So these bottles were a little intriguing. We'll get to them in a minute, but I was trying to kind of peruse all the different things. There was, you know, oh, so much pretty glass blue and pink, but it mostly like for um, florist piece, but these were not, and there were four of them, and they had a little teeny bit of weight to them. And I kept looking at them. <laughs> 
because they had all different size bottles and I probably should have got them but again I'm just got so many big things and that was a pretty little Mary um, and that was a cute little thing and the tequila jug lots of angels but do you see that owl back there that owl I moved everything out of the way to get to that owl. <laughs> so uh, there's a little process happening here because I was gonna determined to get that owl. So what I'm doing is like maneuvering things. And I go to pick it up and it weighs like three pounds. So I'm like, all right, well, let me move some things because I need to see him. So he is hand sculpted. He is signed. He is really kind of cool with his little wire glasses. And you'll see in a minute, it says, I believe the name is Blair on it, but he's in really good condition and he's so unique. And, you know, my mom collected owls, so I have an affinity for owls. Um, so I ended up putting him in my cart because he was cool. And you'll see in my cart, I have some plush too, because I hit the plush first, you know me. So yeah, look how cute he is. He's all textured and he's hand sculpted and he's only four, five, 450, I think it was. And I believe that red and blue tags were on sale. So I think I got him for half price on top of that. So yeah, crazy cool. So we're back looking on the shelves because you find one cool thing. You got to see if there's another. I did not even see that hedgehog until just now. Can't believe it. So I did look at this. This looks really old. The trouble is, sometimes it is, and sometimes it's not. And it doesn't have a little Japan sticker on it, and it could be an antique. And I just don't know a lot about these. And like, what you don't know, you don't know. I mean, I know there's some reproduction stuff that was made in like the 50s. And then there's some stuff that's like from the 1800s. And the painting on it was, it was missing like the little crop thing that the driver has. And the painting on it was kind of rudimentary. It was okay, but it wasn't like really exquisite. So I ended up leaving it because I just wasn't sure. So if you know anything, please let me know. Because the more I, you tell me, the more you know, the more I know, and the better I am at discerning these things when I'm in the store. Because you don't always know. Um, there's a lot of information out there. It's really hard to know everything that you need to know. So I'm checking out this cute little elephant. Um, he was pretty lightweight, so I ended up leaving him, but I do have a thing for elephants. Little nativities. And you're gonna see, I, it's really hard when you're doing the camera work, trying to not like to look at things and look at the camera and make sure you're looking at things. I was looking at this cute little, it had like a glass tree in it. It was just the most darling thing, but it had a big air bubble. So I know that, you know, would look at the big air bubble. It's just not going to work, but it was really pretty. Hey, everybody. Um, I forgot to do an outro. Sorry. <laughs> so um, the spend at the Little Goodwill was $42, $43, $42. Um, and for some reason, the intro that I did for the whole video didn't work either. So this is the intro to that as well. So you'll see all the stuff I got. Um, at the Little Goodwill and then I'll pop up the um, totals at the end. So here's everything I got while I shopped in this video. Okay, so here is what I got. Um, I do have some stuff going on here because I was doing some jewelry sorting yesterday. I did a video. You'll be seeing that if you're looking for vintage jewelry ideas. I've got some stuff coming, but this is the stuff that I got. So we're going to go over it really quick. And we're going to start over here with this, which you guys saw. It's a Hager. I uh, picked it up and went, oh, what is that? What store? And it's, oh, it's Hager. <laughs> so it's actually a Hager. Um, as you saw, I paid $4.99 for it. It's kind of a putty color, ginger jar shaped. It's about six inches tall. And... Um, it's from 1999 and I paid 4.99 for it and I can probably get between 35 and 45 dollars for it. Okay. 
Then we have this very cool figural sculpture with the little glasses. They're taped on right now, but I'll take them off and fix it. But he's really cute. He is signed Blair underneath. And he was $4.99. And you can see there's the Blair signature. And um, he's got all sorts of texturing. He's super cute. Look at that face. Oh my goodness. So I tried to do some research on him really quickly. And I, it's very hard to find out um, which Blair made him. Because there's actually more than one Blair sculpture. Um, Blair person out there. That's my cheat sheets, by the way, guys. <laughs> um, so anyway, he is... Prob I'm going to probably put him up for $60 and see how he does. I might actually put him up for auction um, and see how he does and then go from there because he's very interesting and cool. Um, then I got this really cute little trinket box. Um, it plays I Left My Heart in San Francisco. And it actually plays beautifully. It's really pretty that music like sometimes the they're clinky and plinky you know what I'm talking about? that's like very pretty the um, motion in there so that is by um, Franklin porcelain and it is made in Japan and it's the world's most romantic love songs which is probably a series they did I believe it's from 1984 um, so and I paid 4.99 for that and I probably can get about 12. But then the other thing I found is just amazing, just amazing. And you know what? I do have another plush that isn't in here. It must have stuck it in another bag, so I'll have to show you that next round. But anyway, um, I paid $3.99 for him. He is a 14-inch, pose, an 18-inch posable Kermit the Frog by Disney. And he is, um, I paid $3.99 and I can get $32, $33 for him. This little dolly here is by, isn't she just so cute? I just had to get her, and she's very unusual. There's not a lot of them out there, but she is, she does have a tag. Um, look at the hair. She's got like a cape on, little fur, muff. She's really cute. Anyway, she's a stuffed about doll by a company called Radiant Export. She's Noida doll, and she's, was $3.99 and I think I can get $40 for her, her because she's pretty unusual. Then the next thing I bought was two blankets. We have this gray and white one. It's gray and mint green. This elephant has crinkle ears. It's a play mat and a blanket. It's got the bumpy. It's got the things. It's by Forever Baby. It's really nice and clean. It's got the good night moon up here. It's got a little teether here. Um, yeah, it's, it's gorgeous condition. I paid $4.99 for it and I can probably get $30 or $35 for that one. As you can see, I have my pile of baby, <laughs> baby stuff I have to put away yet. Um, so then this one is really special. This was $6. Look how pretty this is. It's like, um, it's all acetate with this pretty pink embroidery. Um, and this beautiful pink satin around the edge. It's 100%. It's not really satin. It's acetate. It's 100% acetate. And it's just beautiful condition. It is clean and gorgeous and beautiful. It is from the 1950s. Look at these tags. Solar cloud. Selenese acetate. Oh my goodness. And look at this tag. It's the labor tag crazy I know it's crazy it's crazy it's all the tags so anyway um I'm probably going to auction that and start it at 100 because that is amazing it's a big it's beautiful it's clean it's gorgeous I, I just can't get over how lovely it is so we're going to do that so the next thing I did is I bought a bag of plush and in the bag of plush were some toys but I bought the bag because he was in there he was in there, and you know, I am a lovey person, and he was in there, and he's a fox. He's by Levtex. Um, he's not one of the big bucks ones, but he's so cute, and you know, he's a lovey. So we got him, and he was, let me find him. 
Um, they all came to 85 cents. There were, it was $5.99 and there were seven things in the bag and I can get $14.99 for him. There's this little fur real frog. He has a little button on his back. Look how cute he is. Wide mouth frog. He also has a something here that I think when you pull it, he's supposed to croak, but his croaker's not working. He has a battery in him. So I'm just going to sell him five. Needs a battery because they're going for like 10. Has a battery. So I figure one less thing for me to do. This guy here is by Munchkin. He's a scuba diver and he's a play toy that goes in the swimming pool or in the bathtub. And if you pull his little thing on top, his tail goes miles a minute. <laughs> so he's pretty cute, right? Um, so he is by Munchkin and I probably can get $8.50 for him. Then we have this cute little girl. She's a boxy baby. She has her outfit on. Her name is Paisley, apparently. Um, I never, ever heard of that. I thought she was an LOL doll, actually, but she's not. She's a boxy baby. And um, I use Google Lens when in doubt. You just take a picture on your phone with the Google app and use the Google camera, and it will look up the item for you and help you figure out what it is. Um, she's from 2018. She's a day, J Play is who makes her, and I'm probably going to get about four or five dollars for her. Also in the bag was this Minnie Mouse. And anytime there's Disney figurines, it's always a good thing. This one's by 2011. Um, this is 2011, and I probably can get about ten dollars for her. There was also this cute little bunny. Just a bunny. Just a bunny. Just a bunny. With a little um, chiffon pink thing. But look at that face. And the cutest little softy ears. She's, he's really soft and sweet. He is um, just a bunny. He's, he's, he's by D DTSC Import Company. I mean, he could be for anything. He could be from like a, a, to a crane game or whatever. But he's just a bunny. He's just cute. But um, he's probably about $5.00. Um, I might lot him up with something else um, because he's he's just sweet. He needs a home. If you're looking to adopt a pink bunny with a pink nose, he's your guy. Or she's your guy. So, and then this teddy bear, also just a teddy bear, but does have the textured feet, is a Spark Imagination was sold at Walmart. Um, Walmart has some really cute plush. And shockingly, some of them do very well. Um, for resale, so don't be afraid of them. That one is 12 inches and goes for about $14 according to sold comps. So that is everything I think from this particular haul. Um, yeah, that's everything from this haul except there's one other plush that I didn't grab so I'll have to bring that in later and do it with the next haul. But um, so that's everything that I got. The, um, the Aladdin Build-A-Bear was in that lot as well and I didn't bring him in he's in a different bag so I'll bring him in with the next haul and check him out but um I'll pop the total spend and the total um potential profit up on the screen for you guys um so you can see exactly you know um how much everything might sell for hopefully sells for um the blanket's going to be the game changer because there are some online that um, were put up for auction for like $10, $15 that never sold. They were just plain white. And there are a couple different patterns in this, but they don't have the stamps or the tags on them. And um, they're not nearly, this one's just so pretty. It is a very pretty pink blanket. So I'm hoping, hoping, hoping that um, that does well because it's cool and it's vintage and it's very unusual. So unusual tends to do well. So anyway, I will um, be back with you with next haul video coming soon. Um, I'm going to be posting a jewelry unboxing, um, several of them because I have a lot of jewelry to unbox um, over the next few days. So keep an eye out. And I'm going to finally get that um, reselling video, um, some pointers and tips and things people should know before getting into this adventure. Okay. So, um, that'll be really coming maybe the next couple days. Okay. So keep an eye out. Thanks. If you like this content, please like it, subscribe to the channel. So you get notifications, you can hit the bell. You'll get notified next time I go live. Um, I'm trying to 
stay on top of the lives. Um, I mean, not the lives, but posting videos. So, um, and it's getting better. So, hopefully you guys are liking my weird adventure. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you soon.